Anyways, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take myself to the lake. I really want some bubble tea. I don't think it's gluttonous to order bubble tea. Is it a waste of money? Like I've been spending a lot of money these days and I don't like my job, so I don't wanna feel like I need their money. Yeah, I can crack it out. Hello everybody. No, I am not pitching the next Google idea. Today, if I'm procrastinating, I'm taking a procrastination to productivity level. That's right. Me not, my, me, my, 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 me not wanting to write this fucking essay has inspired me to face all my other fears. Fear of talking and it just sounds like a Sims character in front of the entire world. And so I thought, I'm tired of this bullshit. I talk too much. I think I need to get, need to get over this presentation. I am sick and tired of talking to my video diaries not getting any responses, feeling like I'm wasting away my youth. And so, I thought at least I would get some creativity out of it. I'm, talking, I'm tired of talking to my video diaries, and so we're gonna put this on the internet for the entire world to engage in my video diaries. Is that exciting? I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start a mini series called Let's Find My YouTube. So you might, you might be like, hold on, what the fuck were those two words that she just put together? Let me do my extensive research. We've come to the conclusion that everybody has their quote unquote YouTube niche. From the animators to the, 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 the movie reaction channel to the video essayists. And so I thought it'd be interesting to display and show the entire world the process of getting into your YouTube niche. I'm curious how people just find their niche. So we're gonna do an in-depth research, in-depth experiment on finding your YouTube niche. Wow. This is super educational. Tell your parents that when they're watching. We will start with, how do I zoom in? And so we title this, Let's Find Our Niche. Number one, study channel. Okay, so interrupt me from the past again, just to say this, we're not doing a study channel. Um, it is, it is currently, 1.55 in the evening, there is people in this house. These walls are thin. However, I want to say first things first, we are not doing a study channel. This is me from the future, coming to you live from my laptop up in the suburbs. I am using my laptop because we are back on here. My phone has no more storage, so. And heartbreak related. Making myself on a date. I am particularly excited because I have to go somewhere where I have to actually talk and converse. You know, drowning your sound out. Talking. Well, let's go to the lake. Let's take myself to get some bubble tea and go to the lake and chill and walk. Go for a walk around the lake. How about that, huh? How about that? Talk about fucking romantic. So, for the sake of continuity, the plan was to go to, to a drive-in. However, I ended up last minute deciding not to go to a drive-in because it would be an hour-long drive and I was ill-prepared for it. I think the final destination was a spur of the moment going to a bubble tea place and going to the lake because at that point I cannot escape from my own thoughts. Or can I? Stay tuned. So number one, I'll be taking myself on a date and paying cards soon and whatnot. Pew, 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 my love, me, pew, pew. Yes, yes. And that'll be our first adventure. Ladies and motherfucking gentlemen, I am not Bracken Rock. And what we're about to do today is we're gonna take off and I'm gonna take myself to the lake. I was considering buying some bubble tea, which would be a great exquisite treat for myself to sit under the moonlight. Moonlight, and then I also, Moonlight by August D. Except it's not Moonlight, it's Blame It on the Boogie by, by the Jacksons. Dancing in the Moonlight. This is the difficult part, so I gotta keep my eyes peeled. I'm going up this dangerous ramp. I want some bubble tea, some money. Like, I've been spending a lot of money these days, and I don't like my job, so I don't wanna feel like I need their money. I mean, that. It's giving euphoria vibes. Neck. Y'all, I sleep in the worst special constable. I thought it was a cop for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, my hands are not on 10 and 2. So I was like, bitch, calm the fuck down. It's not even a real cop. It's Paul Blart, where all this energy came from. I wanted to sleep after I came back from work. And then, <laughs> off, I wanted to take the card to like promenade earlier, but I didn't. Okay, speak up, sis. Sipping yellow. But it's, um, the point that I'm trying to get across is my phone is on portrait mode. It's weird turning my phone sideways, but not turning the wheel sideways. Guys, I'm not a normal. 
normally this hostile. I don't really think being hostile is fun. Dumb fuck. I think it raised your blood pressure for comedic purposes. Actually <laughs> stuck with high blood pressure. Guys, so we have a dilemma. The dilemma is I want to get bubble tea because I'm feasting tonight. However, just pull up and order online. I hate fucking ordering in person so much because they take 20 years from my life every fucking time. I don't even swear this much. If I'm being honest, I don't think I swear nearly this much. I'm fuck though. I want to feast. However, if I go to get bubble tea, it's also going to be quite difficult. Guys, it's so going to learn Korean because I really like the language. I really like how it sounds. It's just a great incorporation of so many different sounds. Me as a Somali person, good sound. It has the that sound i just love that i love that different sounds it doesn't have the v sound and you can't say violin or you can't say video i click video and it says pedio pedio um i probably should have taken that spare second to order online <laughs> i am traveling across this big ass piece of canadian land quite frustrating quite infuriating please please let it be long enough for me to order yeah so going from the bubble tea place all the way back to the port and then take myself all the way back home is gonna be a fucking adventure. Do I, is that the kind of adventure that I wanna go on? I'm not normally a big fan of midnight adventures, especially on fucking Saturday nights where the most reckless drivers are roaming around my city on the hunt out for some blood. I'm gonna pull up over here into this little cutesy gas station. It's actually just amazing. This is the gas station been in the dark this entire time it's not great and not tell any of my facial movements anyways we got lucky i feel like probably how what's her name what's her name what's her name emma chamberlain feels in her wacky adventures i feel like i'm going on one of emma chamberlain's and emma chamberlain wacky adventures where she's driving and she finds some great shit just out of the blue you know so her life turns completely back around after she was like almost on the brink of crying because i've seen so many of her videos the place closes in in 4k um what did i want to say no that's it i just wanted to say in 4k i just love the hype euphoria is getting i just love the fact that people have noticed how ridiculously funny this show can be there's a lot of people on the road that can't that cannot drive and i'm one of them mm, guys i finally decided that because of the app they didn't want to let take my money um and i'm not driving 12 minutes to get to basically i found another coco need to get out of 2015 we along 2015 and so right now we are fucking zooming to catch this cocoa before it closes Also, I'm not even in Toronto anymore. Toronto's so scary in the nighttime, first of all. It's scary to drive in the daylight. Fucking nighttime horror show. Is. My point is, I've switched topics so many times. I don't even know what my point is, but I'm making a new point now. And oh, Toronto's so cute. I really hate how cute it is. Like, pleasing. It has a specific aesthetic. <laughs> is it there? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm, I'm like too close. I just want to say, guys, I showed up. And the number one thing I want to say is, I think we made it. I'm not even touching my hair because we got like 10 minutes until it's closed. Let's go. I am already so fucking creeped out because of all the things, scary, terrifying things my mother said to me. But yo, I came all the way out here to go on a date with myself and ironically, I'm fucking terrified. This is so creepy when there's nobody else around for miles. Let me just lock my door and my door's already locked. Last time I was here, it was so cute. It was during the summertime. It was in the moon was in full. The lunatics weren't out and the werewolves weren't screaming. I'm kind of creeped out. Me recording this in the dark probably doesn't help you feel any more settled either. Everything looks so fucking beautiful. Wait a damn minute. Everything looks so nice. See, I could have gone to the shallow end. By that, I mean the shallow parking lot where they're not that far deep. But I'm nervous and I can't really tell what my intuition is telling me because I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Even Google's voice is kind of creepy in this in this vibe. There's nobody around. I can't stay here. Like normally I love being placed night in the woods. You know, even though everything looks so nice. Uh, I'm gonna stop saying guys because I realize it's literally just me. I was just my own thoughts just with a camera. I always seem to be forgetting like I'm like oh my god camera I have to show up for the camera but like I really don't. I think it's easy being this annoying. I know where the fuck I am, Google. Okay, anyways, 
Um, sorry about the last time. I feel like I did just leave everything a little too open-ended. Video. 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 I was fully in the middle of a thought process. Also, my lips look so fucking chapped. I don't really care. The idea was I'm doing this more. I want to write because I think it's 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 it makes you a good artist if you can write from your own feelings and understand your own feelings. And that is interpreting literally from thin air. It's like I guess like you know it's a songwriting technique when you take somebody else's song and you rewrite it to your own feelings and your own words and makes you a better songwriter. However, and you don't take the lyrics, you take the melody and then you take those the idea that it sounds like through the song, the overall feeling that the song conveys. Write your own lyrics to it. But like I'd be a little, I'd be, I'd be naive sometimes. It's fine. I think a little naivety is what makes the world go round. I force naivety on me. I know what I'm saying. Just leave it as silent. I should have brought my skateboard. And yeah, today I purchased a bathing, bathing suit. I feel like I'm built different now. If I do my dances here, first of all, there's way too many damn people out here for me to be doing any sort of dance. This is really pretty. This is very cool. What are you staring at, sir? Have you never seen a woman on her Saturday evening after a long day's work go to the lake shore? all by herself peacefully i kind of want to pull up here I pull up i actually don't know where i am i don't think i've ever been to this side of the lake before should i go to the other side i actually would like to i would i haven't ever been on this angle do i care enough to be though i don't think i do i don't think it's that cute there isn't much place much places Ooh, on the other side however there is a place to for walking and bring my fucking skateboard for them and so i'm gonna walk you know what? I wish I had a family that would do shit with me, but you know what? I'm living the only, only child life. Mm, actually, ironically, I'm getting none of the room, the space, and the benefits of being an only child. However, I am getting all the obnoxious kids yelling at me. Kids yelling at me? Yeah, they're basically kids. Things yelling at me. I mean, everything that's wrong with me and my look. I really want to walk. So that's exactly what the fuck I'm gonna do. <laughs> a lot of people here today. I don't feel so endangered anymore. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I've pulled up facing away from the lake because there's too many fucking people here. <laughs> I'm wearing neon orange. Can you believe that? So why do I look? You feel like I'm actually living the only child life. Also, I colored my eyebrows. Wow. I'm not wearing glasses anymore. This is what they do to me. I feel like wearing my glasses kind of like makes my eyes a little droopy because I go like this all the time. Because they literally ride over here right at that point. I'm not fighting it. I'm just gonna follow along with them. So I'm just gonna go. I still look like a green screen. I should probably go on my walk before the sun sets completely. A lot of people here in hot rides. Life is so hard. It just keeps getting harder and harder. What the fuck? Basically, you know what I said? I said. In order to fall in love, I have to date them and actually get to know them. And as they are flawed human beings, like, why am I here? Clearly, I'm perfect and you're not. Honestly, I have a chronic fear of rejection. I would just call it fear of rejection. I wouldn't call it chronic. It's not hospitalizing me. This is about the time of day when a new perspective is required. Why doesn't that nigga call me? So I'm at the lake. It's behind me. I wanted to go for a walk. And then I just started like talking on the phone and then i was on the phone for i think like an hour but i enjoy wasting time i love it you can't even see me but you know what i fought the devil tonight and i don't think i should be recording this he said he's busy right now this thing's turning up at the club cheeked up on a thursday who's funnier me or i don't think we even get the chance to explore that can i be honest with you i'm still so upset because he didn't actually see my full personality personality at its brightest he just saw me i think i could be so funny when i'm just being I think that's one where I fall short in comparison to my dates because when I'm talking to somebody, I'm, I have to be a full transparent self right at the get-go. Like, I don't need to be that fully transparent. Like, be just be honest. You don't need to share everything. If you're telling them I'm learning the guitar, I'm learning the guitar. I enjoy painting, but I'm not good at it. I'm going to tell I enjoy writing poetry. Just say the shit with confidence. I started writing poetry. I write every single day. Shitty or as amazing as it needs to be. I think I, I'm, I'm content with my the quantity that I produce. I feel like... I feel like... I think...
that what's happening to me now is the same thing that happened to he was a producer i also knew more about music than he does i think i was funnier than he is and he kept saying how much of a nerd he is that feeling of when he grabbed my hand that shit was so fucking cute i want to look for them i want them to find me should i just start driving because these niggas are playing volleyball at the parking lot and i think i've never seen anything more ghetto than this these white people okay let's go to let's go to the actual um, I'm kind of scared to walk now because I want to walk, but I don't want to walk by myself in the middle of the woods. Like, I love me some woods, but if there was no other creature on the face of this earth, ugh, the lake will do. There's no other creature on the face of this earth, and like, I'd be so stoked to go. We pretend that airplanes in the night sky open oh, the and stars. What does it smell like? A new beginning. New timeline, new universe. It's like a new flower that grew in the same place the old one died. That sounded fucking beautiful. So I'm gonna go near the other side of the lake and I'm gonna go for a walk. I actually don't feel like walking if I'm being real. I feel kind of lazy. I think it's worth it to just try. I'm honest with you, I kind of want to go home. Turn down my windows and if I drive myself home, I would feel really good about it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Play some good music because I got everything off my chest. Some music. I just came back from work. Hey, bear with me here. Listen to my heart, not what my face is saying. Even though tell me I look like a zombie delivery. It's not even the hair. I don't know why I keep touching out my hair. It's my under eyes. <laughs> I just feel this entire day and I think weirdly lopsided. I need to trim. All my hair is one length for any of you curly haired beauties. <laughs> I said it like, that was like, I was trying to be PC. I'm too hard to be politically correct. Like I'm, like, I'm a white talk show host and I'm trying to like, compliment like my black female audience and any curly haired audience member but particularly the black female audience and i'm trying to be like sensitive <laughs> okay continuing on what was even my point i feel like i'm gonna use the Nicki Minaj meme that's where my brain goes every time i had other things to say i need a haircut my hair needs to be layered up right now it's all one layer and it just looks awkward like they're all the same length but they don't look like they are. It's just not complimenting the shape of my face. Today I was at work and I saw this lady who has the same texture hair as me and the same length layered. And I was like, whoa, I never liked layers until today. And I was like, wait, now I'm actually seeing the appeal because it was like longer on the bottom, the length going on and the volume. And I just, I loved it. Moving on, I was editing this video and I was like, shit, am I even gonna post this? But then I was like, shit, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> then I was like, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of the people that I know seeing this video. Naturally, like any person on here would say, realistically, none of that really matters. Wow! <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like, the only thing that matters is like, get to the other side of the fear. Realistically, I don't think many of those people are even actually going to see it unless I go through the efforts of promoting it. And am I going to promote it? We'll see about that. First, most important step is for me to actually actually post this video. For the sake of my mental health and not working on something that I never published. I do that in my poetry and I don't like it. This girl that I went to high school with and she posts, she published her own poetry book. And I thought that was so cool because I've been hiding my like for poetry. Forget letting everybody that I know see it. She not only told, she wrote and published it and promoted it. And I think that's so cool. Shout out to her. Shout, shout, shout out to her, man. I thought that was really cool, inspiring. For the sake of my own sanity, five years, seven years down the line and being upset with myself and be like, why didn't I, why didn't I upload that video? I'm just going to upload this video. I don't really think it matters too much. I'm not going to think too hard about it. I think I said a lot of dumb shit, but like, I think everybody's kind of dumb sometimes. Let's, let's remember that. I think that's it. If things weren't said very eloquently. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a reoccurring thing. I don't think I should start apologizing for the fact that my ankles regularly, on the very regular, every time I move them, uh, they crack. I'm not apologizing for that anymore. It's gone down. I have no more light, I know. Please, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. I'm like, I feel like I'm, I could be passing off as the textbook quirky girl. But realistically, I saw this TikTok of this girl who was like, y'all, what if it's secretly sexist that these people are making fun of this, the quirky girl? That the quirky girl, her quirkiness is her, her defense mechanism. I don't know what she was saying, actually. But um, quirky girl, I could be, but realistically, it's just because I'm nervous all the time and anxious. And it comes off as quirky and I talk a lot because of it. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I shouldn't do this in these pants.